Hello goddess and welcome to this week's Super Sign Sunday. My name is Rochelle Ritter for those of you who are catching one of my videos here for the first time. I am a self-loving love empowerment coach who guides goddesses into and through finding their power to break free from the twin flame trap of self-sabotage and well perpetuating the struggle in the journey. I personally am so grateful that I was already a self-love empowerment coach when I met my counterpart. However, that hasn't always made it easier. I tell you, it's been quite an excruciating healing twin flames journey to say the least. And the purpose of this twin flame connection is to crack us all the way open so we are no longer able to hide aspects of ourselves from ourselves. The purpose of this connection is to crack you all the way open so you can heal fully and completely. And this means to see the parts of yourselves that you maybe thought at one time you were better off not. However, that is what it is to give your power away to something, to a story, a belief, a memory, a part of you that then continues to have power over you, to sabotage you, to keep you in self-destructive habits and patterns and cycles. And this includes in the twin flame connection. I know for me, I am very much recognizing and of course, processing through some of my own self-sabotaging uh, habits and patterns by way of blocking, yes, my counterpart. Yet it's more from the, the space of you don't talk to me anyway and when you do, most often you don't have anything nice to say, but it's going, wait a minute though, Rochelle, in what ways are you still not saying very nice things about yourself? Because we go through these layers, these levels. We, it's the onion peeling. So we will have an experience that happens that connects us with this perspective of this wound. And so then we have to heal that. And as we up level through these layers and we're presented with new challenges, we're going to be perpetually given this opportunity, these opportunities actually, to grow stronger and stronger and stronger. And this is, this is the way of all that is our journey, our self-love empowerment journeys and our twin flame journey, or as I like to call it, a healing twin flames journey. Because again, that's what we are doing. We're healing. That said, I know for sure I'm quite eager personally to hear what the message is. I know there are, of course, continuous changes unfolding within each of us. Even today, and I have been led to record this on Friday for this coming week, and I was actually kind of almost looking for other things to do, and this really was literally, it was like, no, this, Super Sign Sunday, this is, this is where, right here, right, this, now. But I'm recognizing changes that are integrating within myself and one of the side effects or symptoms of this, these deep changes is exhaustion. It's tired. It's, and in that tiredness, we end up being more susceptible to our ego because we are, we are tired. We're tired of fighting. We're tired of, oh, we're just tired and we want to go to sleep yet there are things that we do know that we need to do for our soul's growth so it's really again being able to discern when it's that time for certainly taking that wet rest but when it's also time to listen to what you're being called to like i said i was very much being called to go curl up on the couch with my cat but I was also equally being called to right here. And I had to discern which path was which. And that's what we are being asked to do right now, Goddess, is have that 
clarity, really be honing your discernment, being able to allow yourself to feel into the path that feels the best, the path that is the soul path. The ego may say, oh, but oh my gosh, you know, having, you know, baking those cookies because I am, I am overcoming my sugar addiction. I'm telling you that is my, um, yeah. I am getting healthier and healthier every day. I used to not hardly eat any sugar. Now, truth be told, I love my baked goods again. And it's definitely starting to catch up with me on many levels. And that is a form of my own self-sabotage. Just it's been a, it's definitely been a challenging to, especially the last two years have been even more, more so challenging. And so what do we do? We fall into the habits and cycles and patterns even deeper. All of this happens so that we can again grow stronger in our own knowing of what is best for us, of knowing the difference again between, well, this does sound like a good idea right now to just lay around and, or even just sleep. Or at the same time, I'm really feeling this calling just as I've said, to come here, and here is where, where it went out, and I'm so grateful that I'm sitting here with you. That said, let's dive in to the cards, because we know that discernment is definitely a major uh, tool that we are being asked to cultivate, even more so as we continue along on this great awakening journey, on the on each our own self-love empowerment journeys to really be able to feel into and discern is this coming from my ego or is this coming from my soul and there are several different methods or ways or and questions to ask to do this and these are those are some of the practices and and techniques that i tend to dive into in my coaching programs uh, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or especially as i am so stoked i recorded the video about empowered with rochelle it's now an all access pass it's been again this evolutionary journey of what my mentorship group was to now what it's really becoming because the objective is is to really truly be able to fully empower you in through and with all the ways that i empower myself and that i have been empowering myself that's gotten me to where i've gotten I mean, now with what vision I am empowering myself into, it's got me freaked the fuck out, but at the same time, I'm so excited. It's again, that whole discernment. It is definitely the path my soul is calling me down, but holy moly, is it gonna take me out of that comfort zone? But that's what you are being asked to do. That's why the need, the requirement for discernment is to be able to anchor into your own gifts, your own strengths, and take those steps moving forward and moving toward the vision that you desire to stop staying in the past. And again, you know, not actually making any forward movement toward what your vision is. Instead, listening to the ego that, yeah, I am tired, but at the same time, it's like, wait a minute though, I, you know, look at what I did when I first woke up and I went, no wonder. It's time to break a couple of those habits, such as scrolling. I was scrolling. I went to check my content for, you know, um, any messages and things like that, comments to reply to. I do that. And then I ended up getting caught up in the scroll. And that is such an energy drain. And it's so important, again, to discern this. And this is why I say right now, this is where I am because I know all right, and so I'm sharing all of this with always the intention of my sharing my journey and my aha moments and my empowerment, you know, rising and thriving you know, moments is that you can extract from that and apply it to your own life and go, oh, that, yeah, I'm connecting the dots. That's what we're here to do. We're kind of in so many ways here to connect the dots, connect the dots of who we are, connect the dots of the power that is within us, to connect the dots that the only one who ever stands in our way of what we want is ourselves. And that comes into play by not 
actively participating in your experience. Oh, I needed that. And that means to, again, really be feeling your journey. To recognize just as what we had, oh wow, I just, I, that just came back to me about Thankful to Thrive Thursday, about you know feeling to the depth this experience. And this includes the painful spaces because when we're in that painful space and we're feeling through it because it's gonna pass, it is gonna pass, it's temporary. But the deeper that you can feel into it, the deeper that that's gonna carve out that. Um, I'm seeing, I recently saw a, a video of a, a horse's hoof that was starting to get infected from a little tiny pebble. And the, the, sh the horseshoe man, I, there's a word and I should know, it's been a long time since being on the farm, but there's a word for the, for the guy who does the horseshoes, right? And he, he proceeds to, you know, clean out the infected area of this hoof, which does cause bleeding. And you can definitely see to a certain extent that the horse, you know, has a little bit of a flinch going on because it, it is tender. It is, it, it's not comfortable. But then again, that horse wasn't comfortable before he got his little hoof up on there on the fix it, <laughs> the fix it tray, we could say to have this wound cleansed and, 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 and purified so it can properly heal. And that's the key is properly heal. And so when you allow yourself to feel all that there is to feel, and this is why that fugly shower cry that you hear me talk about so much is one of my all time favorite empowerment tools for release, for really holding that space for yourself and getting that shit out of you. All right, so it's no longer uh, in infecting you, creating a, a toxic reaction within you. So as you again feel into these human emotions, you are then more able to fully clear out the infection when it's that time of pain or blame or shame or guilt or regret. Because the more that you can feel all that, the more you are able to feel the love, the joy, the compassion, the delight of this experience. And I just looked down and it was 1222 on my ticker, on my ticker, all right? And so that's clearly where we're heading right now with the Super Sign Sunday from last week into this week, where we are in the collective. It's about that really, again, discerning where you're inspired, discerning where the feelings are coming from, right? And then allowing yourself to feel through them, especially if it ends up being you chose the side of the ego side, you go end up sleeping your entire day away, and then you're like, oh, I didn't get done what I wanted to do, and now I have to kind of, because I've done this too, where it's like now I have to really like force the time with whatever project I needed to have done because it was on a deadline. So, or my own perceived deadline, because I, there are some things as we know that are, are due on a deadline, right? The line of death. <laughs> it's so intriguing the words that we use, right? So I do want to check before we dive into these cards, what this 1222 wants to tell us to start, you know, discernment, being able to um, tune in to all that you are. Because again, the more that you can feel that which you're afraid to feel in terms of the perceived negative, I say perceived negative because it's, it's a necessary experience of the human experience are these emotions they are they are what really truly make us human let's see 12 22 i'm manifesting that it's on here yay 12 22 follow your heart you have the power to achieve and make real any dream always believe in yourself be your own best friend you are on the right track. Look, listen to your intuition. Follow your heart. Listen to your intuition. Be faithful to yourself, your vision, and your truth. 
twin flame connection event approaching. Why? Because you are following your heart. You're listening to your intuition. You're saying, yeah, because even as I get start to go more and more into this, I'm like, mm, my energy level is rising and rising and rising. So it wasn't necessarily that I was that tired that I would need to take a nap. It was the tired of sabotage of, um, no, let's just do this instead. No. Right. And that is what the ego likes to do is take that easy out. And we may even do this in our connection. It could be, in fact, I'm going to call my own self out and say by blocking my counterpart yesterday, because it, it, it could, you could very, very well say that it was that space of a self-sabotage in the sense of not fully recognizing that I need to continue to pull my power back within myself from my own ego of this need to want to go and tell him things right now when he is going through things that he does not reciprocate any conversation, any energy exchange. He's there. He's not blocked me on our, on our communication lines, but he's not saying anything either. It's just, it is so unbelievably stagnant that that's definitely one of the things that kind of th threw me for a loop because I have so many things that I'm creating. I'm excited about this vision. And of course, what do we want to do, goddess? We want to tell our counterpart about these amazing things that are happening in our lives. We've also got to recognize that that energy needs to continue to be fed, not drained. And so that's up to us to, again, come back and focus on where our power is. I can make the choice to not open WhatsApp and that's been challenging, I'm not gonna deny. I did unblock him it didn't it didn't matter he didn't even notice <laughs> that's the thing about it he didn't even notice so that said though it comes back to that discernment and being able to have the courage to step into your power to rise up and say i know that even though going that way my mind is trying to tell me that Oh, what's the point? It's not going to work. Um, anything that is contradictory to you, that's going to also dr create this draining space within you. The ego is very, very exhausting. It's very draining. And so it will suck your energy. The ego itself is like our original energy vampire within us. It's constantly keeping us separated from our truth, our strength, our, our own inner knowing of what our path is leading us to next. And that's the other thing is it's also going to be finding the courage, finding the courage to know that as I remind you, that you are where you are and you're exactly where you're supposed to be and that whatever decision you make is the right decision for that time. Because no matter what, even if it's something, a lesson that you are to learn, that is something, that clarity, that experience actually can feed your discernment even more. It feeds your confidence, it feeds your strength and your knowing when you pivot that perspective and actually look at it as an empowering experience. But that's the thing is getting out of that space of always having the perspective that something isn't working out, something's going wrong, uh, that things never work out in my favor, any of these stories. And this is, again, this is very, very much where we are. That discernment is feeding what you want to grow. I know that, yeah, sure, laying around doing nothing, sleeping, sounded nice with my kitty. However, I have this vision, this dream, and I will take a nap in a little bit when I absolutely just have to. Plus, this requires some 
edit time and things like that. So, and, and preparing the posts, which all of that stuff is the kind of stuff that I do like to do while I'm sitting on the couch with my kitty baby. So yes, God is courage. Courage to follow your intuition, to follow your heart, to listen to that inner guidance, to allow for that discernment to be the empowerment tool that it's always intended to be. And this includes, especially on your twin flame journey, did I feel like I had made a mistake in blocking him? No. Do I consider it still? Yeah, yeah. However, it is about my strength ever expanding in my mission and in turn, the love within me to be ever expanding in my sole purpose and my mission. Oh my. Well, that is where the magic is. The magic is, is in you. It's in the ability for you to take your power back, for you to recognize that all you've got to really do mostly is to stop speaking on or focusing on or talking about anything that contradicts what you desire. Anything that you feel isn't working in your experience, stop focusing on it. Go instead and focus on something that feels good, that feels empowering. Like again, me coming here to bring forth this message for us instead of going and doing some of the things that I can do sitting on the couch, but this, this is, and that's the challenging part is when I start to travel, I'm not gonna have this whole, and that's taking some adapting. I tell you what, that, that is what it is, is the courage to shift, the courage to let go of these versions of yourself, these stories about yourself. And in turn, the courage to step into your next version of self, to step into this life that you desire, this union that you yearn for. It has to begin within. And uh, like I've said, I am definitely one of those people where because of my, my extremely traumatic past with men and relationships and, and such, I definitely recognize my own self-sabotage. Now here was the thing with blocking my counterpart on WhatsApp. That's on WhatsApp. There's email, there's Telegram, there's, you know, Instagram and Facebook. And it's, it wasn't like it was, it's that WhatsApp is our primary, you know, um, per his preference. I'm the Telegram girl. I love my Telegram girl. I, lo I mean, I love my Telegram app. It's the reliable app when Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp go down because WhatsApp is owned by Facebook. So if one goes down, they all go down. Let's take a deep breath here. Yeah, I could feel for a moment getting a little, a little worked up, a little fired up, a little excited about this vision that I know I have, this shifting into that's the thing is there's also the excitement but there's the fear and excitement and fear create the same physiological response in the body you can choose which one it becomes fear or excitement depending upon what you choose to give your attention to because see goddess this is where your power is this is where your magic really is is again having the courage to stop focusing on the things that don't feel good unless you're standing in front of a burning house and you're contemplating you know running in or you need to save someone's life right in this moment there is nothing so pressing that you need to keep thinking about it and thinking about it in this moment especially if you cannot do anything to change the circumstance of what you're thinking about in this moment that all you can actually change is your state of being within yourself and know that when you change your state of being within you, that changes your point of attraction with what you were stressing about in addition to everything else in your experience. This is why, again, it's so important to stop watering, watering the weeds, as I like to say. 
you know i know right now our with the the counterparts who are in complete and utter silence uh in the 3d that for one it's about increasing each our own awareness of tuning into this energy remember this discernment of being able to say is this my ego or is this my soul because a twin flame connection is a soul connection not an ego attachment i even have a video about that ego attachment versus soul connection they are two entirely different things and when we are in yearning or want or chasing energy for our counterpart then we we are in ego we are in attachment and so again, that is what this, where we are right now, is you as the awakened, aware awakened, the conscious twin, fully conscious to this connection, it is then your responsibility, it is where your power is to begin to tune in to, again, your own heart, to tune into your intuition to expand, to increase your awareness through honing your gifts. And one of the best ways to be doing this is in nature. I was realizing even this morning that, man, I haven't sat on my back porch in a, in a moment because it's been so hot with the summer. And it's, oh my goodness, it's gotten so cool and so beautiful. Now, my backyard, I am in a suburb in the Phoenix Valley. So I am in Gilbert. And it's not like full on nature, but I do have some trees. I even have my, I call her Francine, this little potted bush that she prefers the pot. She doesn't want to be planted in the ground. And that's fine, it makes her mobile. But I tend to have rabbits and quail, and I've even had praying mantis, uh, a spider friend, uh, hummingbirds. I get to experience so much of nature just in my backyard. And I assure you, you find a tree or two around you and you just allow yourself to tune into that energy that's again what you're being asked right now is to be honing your tuner okay because if you want to be attracting your counterpart back you, or not back but attracting calling him into this physical realm for harmonious physical union you've got to set your tuner to it it's like a, it is it's a magnet so what is your frequency? Okay, so this is gonna be one of the ways that you're gonna be able to tune your tuner to practice what you're uh, tuning into, what you're attracting into your experience. And what I'm saying is, is find a tree or two, go to a park, wherever you are, and tune into the tree. Don't tune into the modern uh, superficial, world that may be also intermingled in your experience tune fully into the tree the nature and you may end up experiencing squirrels and birds and watching you know just a whole little performance that nature likes to do for us and i assure you your day will go very differently by allowing yourself to tune into your experience in that way to tune into nature in that way no matter where you are no matter where you are let's see do we have anything else to say here oh well and this is what we've been healing past lives this is why the uh absolute silence for those in the collective who are experiencing absolutely zero connection right now it is because we are healing these past life wounds currently being able to connect more with our true selves our soul self that's when that's where this comes into play here past lives it's not your ego self that has lived these past lives it's your soul self and so that is exactly what is happening is in order to again carve this out within us and cleanse it out to create this space to make space for this unconditional divine source love to expand into within us especially when we come into physical union with our counterparts you definitely got to be clearing that shit out and that is exactly where we are is cleaning out the shit cleaning out the shit what's going on with these cards here i 
but that been interesting. I was like, that sounded funny. Sounded funny when I was, when I tapped on them. All right, so shining our light. These are more like those uh, self-love cards, I feel. Um, Cause shining your light means to exactly be fully and truly you. Um, <laughs> ha, take a break, really, seriously. Um, right now, as I mentioned, it's not like I'm gonna be going to run a marathon. I just knew intuitively that this was where I was being called was to do this message. And I'm so grateful that I did, I have to say. But this is the thing, is it's, it's not constant. It's not constantly do, do, do. It is in the being. And your energetic state of being is that, the being. It's not the doing. The doing comes out of the being. This is why it's so important about the discernment between where the call is coming from. Is the, is the call coming from the ego in, in a self-sabotaging manner or is the call coming from the soul in a soul expansion manner that says look you just think you're tired the ego is telling you telling you that you're tired because it's been draining you it's you it's been telling you stories and oh, working overtime to sabotage you that's definitely going to be one of the big things to take a break from are these thoughts stop watering the weeds because that is what we do when we hemorrhage energy we're over here telling the stories that are not aligned with what we desire that is such a huge chunk is to become aware of the stories that you're telling of the habits that you have that you're perpetuating that contradict the life you desire to be creating i I'm not going to sit here and, and pretend ever that I am above and beyond that shit. Bullshit. I'm, I'm healing my shit right along with you. And I'm not going to deny that even yesterday in the conversation about blocking my twin and, and sharing the first half of our karmic story, and I'm, I will be finishing that up over the next uh, day or two, because it's the lesson side, it's the shift, it's it's the really powerful side, no, honestly. It, I mean, of course it is. That's the objective. So I just, it, it took a lot to process through the ego shit of it. You know, it's very dense, it's very heavy. And admittedly, I had been holding that back for a minute. I mean, yeah, I've shared about our karmic here and there, uh, but never to this depth and degree so that it can be utilized as a teaching tool. <laughs> Not just, not just for all of you, but most certainly for yours truly. That said, shall we? I just, that was all I needed to say there. I feel though, to saying, uh, to reiterate this, once you become aware of a habit, a thought pattern, uh, a cycle within you, a sabotaging cycle within you, you take a chunk of your power back from it in that moment. Once you, because then it's no longer hiding in the shadows. All right, you've taken such a chunk of your power back from it. And that in and of itself is a major accomplishment for yourself. So be sure you're celebrating yourself. So who or what is triggering you? <laughs> Which is constantly a question that we're asking ourselves, right? constantly this this space of what is this teaching me how is this empowering me to heal uh, how can i turn this into an empowerment experience all such questions to really expand increase that awareness to be taking back your power bit by bit by bit by bit and again it comes back to having the courage to do that the courage to tap into the magic within you the magic that is your power so don't be so, too serious. Look, right, get off the treadmill. Don't be too serious. I, even I noticed, like I've said in my, in my tiredness, I definitely easily recognize how much easier it is for the ego to have its way with me. And so this is what's so important is to be able to say, you know, I know staying up late, as much as I loved doing it a couple nights ago, staying up late, 
like I'm talking late, uh, talking on a phone with a soul sister while she drove her little Uber Eats or whatever it is she'd be doing. Uh, we talked for nearly two hours, but we stayed up past what time is, an, I'm usually called to go to bed and I was gonna say normal bedtime. And I naturally wake up between 5.30, 7 in the morning. I seldom need an alarm clock, even though I do for in the event I have something actually scheduled, I need, I need to be sure to be there. And it, I realized that I cannot do this because it threw me off. It threw me off because rest is so important. Rest is necessary. Rest is the, is the root of restoration or to restore. And so you better believe, even after I've said that I knew in this moment, going and laying on the couch was not coming from my soul. It was coming from my ego, my sabotage. But you can believe that the intention is after this is done, after I, um, cause I am gonna have to get on the computer later to do a, a couple, like my thumbnail that I make for this. There are certain edits for YouTube videos that you can only do on the computer. You cannot do it on the app on any of the devices. So those things I'm gonna have to do later after it's all processed and ready to be published on YouTube. So I will get back on. This is, again, it's allowing yourself to discern within yourself what is the best path for you. What is your path of least resistance? And for me, like I've said, it was to record this video, then take a, a break on the couch, maybe take like a 15 minute power nap, meditate, you know, restore myself for the rest of the activities I desire to accomplish this day. And to have some fun, to celebrate at the same time that, oh my gosh, I did that. I picked the soul path, not the ego path. I learned something and it's, it's amazing, right? That's, that's what we're here for. So at this point, as we like to do, because there's just something like I've said, it just feels like the Divine Masculine is, is very uh, pulled to these cards here. Um, as for uh, being the, the channel through which the DM may share with us what he would like us to know. Especially since, well, he's his physical self, his 3D self, certainly is not speaking to us, right? And that's fine. Oh, that was not luckily my funny bone. It was my elbow, but it didn't hurt. Um, but where we are is again, this space of zero physical communication because of the depth to which we are healing the wounds and and pivoting stepping into each our own power so that when we do come back together in this physical realm we are that power couple that even i had made on our vision board it was a power couple like it's on that is vision board power couple uh so it's being able to be in that space of embracing all that is this journey all right and allowing him to whatever He's doing what he's doing. You do what you do and stop beating yourself up. Cause again, that was a thing with the blocking him after we were talking about it in my goddess tribe. Ooh, my, my mean girl started to be like, oh, well, what kind of example are you setting? You blocked him. And I'm like, I technically, he is, it is so far. And something my love, it, he knows, cause he does phones over there. He is, he, if he, wants to get a hold of me, believe me, he will. He has done it countless times before where next thing I know, I'm getting text messages in America saying, this is RV. I want to talk to you. I need to talk to you. Please come on WhatsApp or wherever. It's usually WhatsApp is this thing. Meaning he is able to somehow utilize a host of, a, a, of an American phone number and send directly on the SMS or the, the network the local network. He is so freaking smart. Sometimes too smart for his own good. I'm telling you, that's what we like to say. So that was the thing is that, and he wasn't blocked on, on Instagram or and it's not like I'm really ever on Facebook. Uh, so that didn't even cross my mind, but email, especially email. 
my website. So it was just, it was intriguing to watch what I, uh, what my mind took me through, through all of this. However, coming out on the other side, it was a definitely a more empowered space. And that is always the objective is that whatever you go through, you grow through. Like I've said, you don't actually make a mistake. You don't actually do anything wrong. As long as you're able to pivot your perspective from that experience to view it as an opportunity for growth, as this gave me more information, it gave me a deeper understanding of my experience here. It empowered me to grow stronger, wiser, and better than I was before. So that said, let's check with the DMs and see if they have anything to say to us at this time. And if so, what, what exactly, what, like, we'd love to know what you're up to. We'd love to know what you're up to, boo. What you doing? What you working on? What you got going on? I mean, we just want to know about your day. We just want to know how you're healing, how you're growing, how you're coming into your power. You are in the midst of a renewal. Well, we've already been going through that. So no surprise, sweetheart, that of course the divine masculine is in the, in the midst of renewal. And how, how perfect is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm seeing right now. This just tickles me. So the frog, kissing the frog, the prince, the prince. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you, this is the divine feminine. This right now is, is that divine masculine, you know, in that, that 3D space still of, of going through that growth, getting ready to turn into, back into this prince that he's always been. But he's at least got his crown. He's discovered his crown. Now he's just really got to be stepping into the power that is that crown. And that is where the divine masculine is. Just as the divine feminine is definitely finding her power more and more and more in her journey and being more and more willing to fully surrender the outcome and create for herself her own vision. So too is the divine masculine working on his part of things stepping into his power, stepping into the king, the God energy that he really is. But just just like us divine feminines, right? We, we have all the self-image, the self-worth, all of that stuff that we have to uh, process through. But trust that right now, this is exactly where our divine masculines are is in on this journey of renewal themselves you are not going to even recognize who your counterpart is and this is why it's so important this is why i knew for me i needed to tell the story about my karmic and get into the shift stop staying in the shit of it and, and perpetuating that and actually share the shift what the lessons are, how I'm stronger and wiser and better because of this experience and the things that it was amplifying to me, especially now amplifying to me the stories that I need to stop feeding, stop telling, because otherwise my counterpart is going to remain in this karmic energy as long as I'm continuing to feed that karmic energy. Okay, and so that that is what we're what we're doing. We're taking this shit that we've gone through and we're shifting it. We're shifting it into the lessons, the empowerment and, and, and allowing ourselves to grow and rise and thrive on our journey. And so exactly is what the divine masculine is up to right now. So what else? Oh my. Wow. New beginnings. New beginnings are unfolding, which again, this means new beginnings for the connections, new beginnings for your divine counterpart coming back into your physical realm. But here's the thing, and, and right now it's just screaming at me to mention this. My video, release the 3D perception of your DM. In order for your DM to change, to step into this, this, this king, uh, he really is then you have to stop keeping him in the box of the way he was. People cannot change unless you allow them to change. And if you are continuing to tell the stories of the old and stay there, instead of going, 
oh, but this, because he acts like this, we know for certain that he has the capacity to actually act like this. And we've seen, the majority of us have known our counterparts to act loving and supportive and compassionate and, and passionate with us. It was just definitely our own mirroring shit that shift a lot of that. But this is the reason for this renewal for new beginnings. This holy ma is because it is necessary in order for each of us to be stepping into that which we truly are because we have not been who we thought we were. We're not who we thought we were. Any last words from the Okay, the Divine Masculine, thank you, quite a bit. Transcending, look, renewal, new beginnings, transcending, transcending his old way of being, transcending his detrimental habits, his addictions, is just as we are, just as we are. This is why you as the leader goddess have to be the one to lead, to get over yourself and, you know, invest in yourself, Join, join my, join my group. It's coming up, and and learn all the ways that you can and are able to empower yourself higher and higher into your power along your ascension journey. And the divine masculine, he is accepting this connection. That is what this renewal, new beginnings, transcending. He, it is transcending that old. Right? Because he's been very much that matrix twin up until till now, hasn't he? He's been the one that has been uh, making sure to please everybody, put everybody else's needs first. And this I mean like his parents, his society, the what's expected of him. And thereby dimming his own light. But he is bit by bit because of this renewal, this new beginnings, this transcendence that he is in the midst of. He is also accepting this connection awareness then acceptance because he's been knowing about it but it's something else altogether to accept it acceptance means to embrace it means to allow for it to be and so that is exactly where we are because of this purification that he has been going and growing through this is why he is incommunicado He's not interested in bringing you into, into his shit. He does not, just as with what you're going and growing through, you kind of have moments where you're just like, you know, if when I really feel into it, I really don't have room right now. I, I, I really want, I really have all of this going on. And I would much rather have that healed and, and released and purified before this harmonious physical union happens. Right? Because I want to ensure that I am fully aligned and embodied with divine, harmonious, physical union. So right now, Goddess, that's the thing is to trust. To trust the divine masculine that he is where he's supposed to be just as you are. Because if either one of you were supposed to be anywhere other than where you are, you would be. So again, going all the way back to the beginning of this message, it is about finding that courage to keep going, to keep holding on, and at the same time, to let go. To let go of when it's gonna happen, of how soon, of all the details of it. Like, yes, have details, contribute to the co-creation of your visions by all means. However, do not limit yourself to that. Be discerning to be able to recognize when the ego is trying to keep you small versus the ego is seeking to expand you. Like this message was very expansive. I feel so much better. I love it. I'm so grateful that I listened to my intuition, my soul, and recorded this message today. I'm, I am feeling one more thing as uh, we get ready to pull these angel numbers, because remember we had 12, 22. We have that one. Listen, uh, follow your heart, listen to your intuition. I also want to share with you, as I've mentioned, I am my, uh, my group program is now not just a group program. It is actually uh, the empowered with Rochelle all access pass. Uh, you actually, with each passing month, will gain access to certain video courses of mine. 
pretty much all of them, but it goes one, one unlocks per month as you continue along your journey. That way it also reduces overwhelm because I know we like to do that, right? We like to overwhelm ourselves, which overwhelm is a form of self-sabotage. I'm very good at that one and I bet you are too. But this all access pass, you pay it, if you pay in full, you get immediate access as well. You get immediate access to all of the videos. So at that point, but you're paying in full, you're gonna have the entire six months or 12 month time frame to go through those courses with the support of the group, all right? That said, there is also a private Telegram group where you have to have a link to join. This is where we also will discuss details in the video courses and what we discuss during the group sessions that we have uh, that I like to call more like challenge sessions for uh, the Zoom groups that we have. For Empowered with Rochelle, just the general group sessions, we talk about everything, everything in those groups from, from meditation, mindset, uh, law of attraction, journaling, sex, um, uh, all these things to such a depth and degree that there are no limits because the energy, the energy exchange is fully in that container, that the energy is specifically creating that container. All right. So that said, I invite you to check out the EWR all access, all access pass at empowermentexperiences.com slash EWR for empowered with Rochelle. Again, that's empowermentexperiences.com slash EWR. That said, let's check it out. What do we have here? Oh, well, we had 1222 and one, two, three. Well, obviously one, two, three is a uh, step-by-step. Anytime you have any of those consecutive numbers like that, uh, you're climbing, you're, you're taking it step-by-step. Step. Clarify and focus on who and what you desire. This again is, is this thing here, going and sitting on my couch when I could postpone it for one or two hours because that's the key. It's not like I'm never gonna go and relax. It's that, no, I wanted to postpone it for this first. I want to hear this, okay? And so again, take it step by step. Time to simplify, unbusy yourself. Too many things drain your energy. And that's, that is uh, the, the thing. Surrender to the turbulence and change in life. As I've already mentioned, when you fully embrace and, and allow yourself to fully feel all of these emotions of blame, shame, guilt, regret over here, that and, and feel it and, and release it out, that creates space so you can expand into the feeling space of love and joy and compassion over here. So yes, yeah, surrender to the turbulence and change in life. It is time to up level and elevate your life. You are that catalyst goddess. This is exactly what we've been shifting into that discernment. Is this, is this next step that I'm about to take, is it aligned with the, the life I'm creating for myself or is it aligned with my old life that I'm done creating for myself? So clean up your love life, delete and shift negative thoughts, beliefs, feelings, to align with what you desire. So just as I have already mentioned in this session today is to stop watering the weeds, to stop telling the story of how your DM was and has been because that's what keeps them stuck in those cycles and keeps you stuck in your cycle of suffering of this, this twin flame trap of perpetuating our, perpetuating our own suffering, our own separation state of being. That is this twin flame trap. It's time to break free from that and allow yourself to feel fully embodied in this love for yourself and your counterpart and this entire world. That said, dear goddess, I am so grateful for you. I definitely love to hear your feedback any aha moments anything any way that this resonated with you for ways that i can serve you further you've heard about empowered with rochelle but you can also check out empowermentexperiences.com that's my entire link list that you can peruse and see all the 
ways that I am here to empower you. And by all means, you're welcome to reach out to me. I'm here for you. That said, dear goddess, I am, as I've said, here for you. To remind you that the power to create any life that you desire, it's in your hands. Because it has always, always, always been inside you. Namaste.